What's up everyone, it's Roger here from DizKingdom.com doing a quick video review here of the new Marvel Select Venom action figure which is exclusive to the Disney Store. You can see here, it's got lots of packaging all over it. Kind of got the new Venom um, figure here. We've got different heads, we've got different hands, we've got all kinds of stuff. You can see here that it does say that it's the Disney Store exclusive. Um, see here on the back we have got all the detail here with some great artwork showing off the different heads depending on how you want to show it off so this one was £25 so it's obviously a little bit more pricier than maybe like the Marvel Select um, than like, for example like the Marvel Heroes yeah this one is priced at this one is priced at £25 so it's a little bit more pricey than maybe like a Marvel uh, Legends figure from Hasbro, but I always love the Marvel Select figures. I think they're a great addition and they don't come out very regularly So kind of what I do like to treat myself to these when they come out. They also do come in these massive packaging And um, the packaging in these things is immense. And I mean I'm loving the detail here on the side I mean you can really see here of just how much detail they put into it. It is a shame to open it But I like to open my toys let them get out and breathe. So let's open this one up and see what it looks like inside Okay, so we have finally got Venom out of all of the packaging. There was so much packaging on these ones, it's unbelievable. I think that's definitely one thing I would love to see um, Diamond Select look at, is the amount of plastic packaging that they've got on there, all the little ties and stuff. There's just way too much plastic, especially for nowadays. So that's my one complaint. So obviously looking here at this figure, and I've kind of got this cool head. Now all of these bits and pieces on the side here, with like all the Venom stuff coming out of here, um, it's there's lots of movement, but it, it does keep falling off. Um, basically, on the back here, you can just basically just take this off like so. And you can attach them on, and you can attach all these bits and pieces into it. They have these ball joints here that you're supposed to put them in. But they just constantly just keep falling out. The minute the minute you kind of get the get it on the character, it just falls out. So I personally don't really like these two. I mean, they're all right if you put them on display and you're never going to touch them. But you are going to have some problems with these. So let's put these to the side. Um, and let's concentrate here on the figure itself. Because that's what I'm more interested in. So we've kind of got this basic face here, which is a little bit odd. It's a bit of an odd face. We've also got the Venom logo here on the front and on the back. And got lots of movement on the head. We've got the shoulders. We've got the this weird movement here on the there. We can obviously pop the hands out because there are a number of different hands in the packet as well. It's really I quite like these big like venom claws. You know these these just look so much cooler. Got movement on the wrist, on the elbow. Got movement here on the chest. We can move it up and down. Actually, there's not a huge amount of movement there, but there is a little bit there. We've got movement on the on the on this weird thigh movement. We've also got movement knee and on the ankle. So tons and tons of articulation to put it into as many different positions as possible. Comes with a couple of different heads. So we've got this one. And we've got this one. I personally prefer these, so I'm going to pop these ones on now. Okay, so now I have popped this other head on. And I think you definitely agree. I just think that one looks so much cooler. I'm mean, just loving the... Te the tongue coming out of it and the teeth and it just looks much more like venom it just looks such a cool action figure you know and he's definitely up with his claws and stuff and all the tentacles all coming out the back of it you know, it is going to look pretty cool i'm just going to pop this one off and pop the other one on okay so now we have got this other head on it's a little bit bigger it's got a bit of a bigger tongue and it just looks nasty it just looks um venomous it just looks and that's what i want from venom i don't want him to be cute and cuddly i want him to be that evil villain that you know as much as everyone you know trying to turn him into a sort of a hero i love the fact that he is an actual villain um, I'm not sure actually of terms of which head I prefer. I think I prefer this head here than the one with the big tongue. I think this one. I definitely, I, yeah, I definitely feel this one is the better head of the three. Personally, that's the one I'm going to be leaving on. I'm obviously putting it on the shelf with my other um, Marvel Select figures, but yeah, I'm just really impressed with these. These always offer great value, lots of detail, and lots of stuff just for. You know, they are much more base for display. But even if you wanted to play with them, you could do. They don't want to take too much battering because a lot of the bits and pieces that you attach to it um, are going to come out. 
and that's obviously a problem but generally just a great figure lots of different accessories lots of different hands heads lots of different options for display so you can keep moving it and turning it around but i'd love to know what you guys think at home in the comments below go check us out over at discingdom.com like follow and subscribe and i shall see you guys soon